Welcome to the Regional Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going back up to the great white north to update you on what's been happening in the very, very violent, uh, dramatic, uh, ever-evolving Canadian mafia war, the wars that are within a war, uh, a lot of activity these last couple weeks, new players, new storylines, new shootings, new murders. Um, so as you know, that there's been, uh, the greater Canadian mafia, uh, uh, war that's been going on since the late two thousands, uh, within that you had the hell's angels and the Rizzuto mob, uh, as an alliance that has disappeared in the last two years. And you have the hell's angels, uh, at war with the Rizzuto mob, uh, in what I'm told is a hostile takeover attempt. And within that you have proxy wars, uh, and back in, the end of 2023, Greg Woolley, Picasso, one of the most legendary Canadian gangland figures ever, someone who had uh, ties, links, and, and alliances at the highest levels of both the Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels, was assassinated, uh, getting out of his Lamborghini SUV in front of his wife and newborn child at a do doctor's appointment in Montreal. Uh, we will report for the first time now on YouTube that the Number one suspect in that case, according to investigators, is the alleged new godfather of the street gang world in Montreal, Anna Tupac Atna, who is uh, alleged to have gotten the contract from Marty Robert and the Hells Angels um, to murder Greg Woolley. Uh, and we've talked about why that happened. Uh, Woolley was somebody that was at that time feuding uh, with people in the Hells Angels, Marty's lieutenants, uh, guys in Montreal, guys that were coming home from prison, guys that were in prison, guys that were in Ontario. Uh, and according to the Hells Angels, they felt that uh, Greg Woolley's loyalty should have been to them and that he was showing too much loyalty to the Rizzuto mob. And it led eventually to his assassination. It looks like based on our sourcing that uh, Atna, who is uh, African, he's from Somalia and is kind of a second generation version of Greg Woolley, but maybe even more violent and more power hungry. And it looks like he is now, according to our sources, has been um, anointed. There's been a coronation. There was a, a meeting of a number of street gang bosses, I'm told, uh, called by the Hells Angels around Christmas time in Montreal, where Tupac Atna was uh, given the throne that had once belonged to Greg Woolley. Now, that doesn't mean that Greg Woolley's camp has disappeared. Greg Woolley's camp is now firmly in the uh, on the side of the Rizzuto mobs. They, they headquarter uh, in Little Italy, and the, the new boss uh, of that group is Jean uh, Philippe Celestine, a.k.a. the Butcher of uh, St. Martin Bellevard. His brother, who you're seeing on the uh, uh, screen right now, uh, Jean Brandon Celestine, uh, was murdered. Uh, this week, he was killed, uh, leaving his brother's headquarters, uh, going to his Mercedes. He was gunned down. He was only 28 years old. And this comes on the heels of a contract allegedly being put on Tupac Atna's head. He was uh, approached last weekend by uh, law enforcement and told that he has money on his head coming from uh, the Celestine camp, which is the former Woolly camp, and the Rizzuto mob. So this could have been him striking back. It also could be in retaliation for a series of shootings that his top lieutenant, a guy that's uh, his alleged top lieutenant, a guy by the name of Ali Shaban, uh, who they call Ice Cube, is uh, avoided two murder attempts just in the past week. Uh, and they were uh, uh, within days of John Brandon Celestine being murdered. Uh, Mr. Uh, Shaban, his uh, Mercedes Benz G Wagon was riddled with bullets uh, in a, a Laval shopping mall parking lot. He escaped with only a gun wound to the arm. Uh, and then just a couple days later, his restaurant was uh, shot up in a drive by. It is all hell has broken loose. And, 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 you know, this has been the case for 15 years. You have ebbs and flows of it. But right now, uh, the city of Montreal is just on fire. Bodies dropping, uh, new alliances being made. Uh, and it should be noted that, you know, Tupac Atna, you know, is a guy that 
has a pretty long list of, of arrests and convictions. He avoided a murder attempt, uh, you know, avoided an attempt on his life a year or two ago. Uh, his right-hand man and best friend, Franz Louis, they call Big Brother, was murdered in 2020. Uh, it's believed that uh, Atna blames the Woolly Celestine group for that. So uh, this thing is just a powder keg, you know, like we've never seen before. And uh, who knows where it's where it's going right now. I'm, I'm told Leonardo Rizzuto is is in bunker style right now, laying low, uh, practically in hiding, if not in hiding, trying to uh, hope, hoping that this blows over. And I've also been told he has or the Rizzuto camp has allowed or has un, has empowered the, the Celestine group to, you know, kind of be their mouth on the street, their muscle on the street. Uh, they're speaking for them right now. And uh, they feel like this is uh, their best play, the, the best card to play. So only time will tell, but Tupac Atna is a, is a new name uh, to be aware of. Uh, the new Greg Woolley, the new godfather of the street gangs in Montreal, aligned allegedly with the uh, Hells Angels and the Rizzuto rivals, the Scopa brothers. There were uh, surveillance photos that have been made public in the last year uh, in, in court filings of Atna taking meetings with the Hells Angels, as well as uh, members of the Scopa group. Um, and there were informants telling the, uh, the police that in the uh, weeks and days leading up to Greg Woolley's assassination on November 17, 2023, and in the days after, uh, Atna was seen meeting with Hells Angels lieutenants. That's what we got coming uh, out of Canada right now. Again, it's ever-evolving. It's fluid, and we'll always keep you updated. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, out.